We're going to start with President Trump declaring a great relationship with the president of the Philippines, a man who is accused of authorizing the deaths of thousands of his own people. Riot police clashed with anti-Trump protesters on the streets of Manila as both men sat down together on the final stop of President Trump's Asia tour. But an earlier moment garnered some laughs as President Trump struggled a bit with mastering a traditional handshake. ABC's Karen Travers is in Manila for us. Karen? Good morning, Diane and Candice. President Trump says he's made great progress on trade and North Korea, but he hasn't pointed to any specific commitments he's taking back to Washington. The president's already looking back on this trip and calling it a success, saying the reception he's received in every country shows respect for him and the United States. Nothing like an awkward group handshake to kick off a summit. President Trump and other world leaders standing side by side, told to put one hand over the other and shake hands with the person next to them. It didn't go smoothly, and Mr. Trump didn't seem to be enjoying himself. Later, he got down to business, a meeting with the prime ministers of Australia and Japan. The president teasing a major announcement he'll make next Wednesday at the White House. It'll be a very, very uh, complete statement as to trade, as to North Korea, as to a lot of other things. And then that critical sit-down with President Duterte of the Philippines. Duterte has come under intense scrutiny by human rights groups who say he's carried out thousands of extrajudicial killings as part of his aggressive crackdown on drugs. President Trump in the past has commended Duterte for his war on drugs. We've had a great relationship. This has been uh, very successful. The White House said the meeting focused on ISIS, trade and drugs and human rights briefly came up in the context of the Philippines fight against illegal drugs. President Trump said at the start of this trip that it would be grueling but the pace and workload wouldn't be an issue for him. Today he complimented the press for keeping up. Stay with us. One potential reason for the spring in his step here on day 13, the warm welcomes at nearly every stop, grand arrival ceremonies, lavish state dinners. The president seemed to love every minute of it. Red carpet like nobody I think has probably ever received. And uh, that really is a sign of respect, perhaps for me a little bit, but really for our country. And President Trump added an extra day to this already marathon tour. The president will attend another regional leader summit on Tuesday before heading back to Washington.